Good evening everyone, Crazy Russian 86. And this video is brought to you by by fucking steak torta. It was fucking steak torta, they better than the hamburgers, Mexican food. I'm gonna eat it with some mild sauce, that cucumber in there, and some lime, I'm probably gonna save it. We'll have. Fuck, I don't even have tea anymore. That's something we need to buy, by the way. So, without further ado, let me get to the back to the fucking point of this video. Specifically for fucking craft beer, dude. I'm drinking some cold 45 malt liquor. Today, today is a Todd's birthday. Happy birthday, Todd! Grow the fuck up and stop being an idiot. That's my wish to you. Shout out to craft beer. Why I'm drinking malt liquor? Oh shit. No acting wild, I don't give a fuck. Sauce is fucking delicious. Because it is a stove. Mild sauce. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Probably actually gonna eat it. Come down with this video. So yeah, happy birthday Todd and happy birthday Yellow Group. I bet the Wise Men's Committee is gonna have a blast because today is Todd's birthday, he's 38 years old now. Fucking gobble gobble holiday. And on Tuesday is election day and it's Yellow Group's birthday. I think Yellow Group is gonna be like 42. Think. And uh, happy birthday to Yellow Groove. I wish you to lose some weight. Malt liquor. Like I lost fucking 25 pounds. I used to be 170 pounds, I'm like 145. The people tell that you know when you lose weight, you may become a little taller, or you, at least you look taller. I don't know. It is what it is. Enough about that. Let's switch the subject. Not gonna be fucking obsessive compulsive anymore because it is what it is. Moving on. Yeah. I'm not gonna hang out with Todd even though it's his birthday. I called him, he never answered. Crowd beer called him moron. And I understood it. He's like, I didn't call you moron. You see, but that was not my point. I was just basically saying that, you know, I just had nothing to do. So I talked talk with that. I didn't give a shit. And he's like, oh, should go to martial arts. Well, see, I kind of glad things happened the way they did. Because then, once I was done making that video, I called my buddy Fi and asked him what he's doing. It was like 8 to 5. And he's like, I'm going to martial arts. I said, can you pick me up? Yeah. So we went together to martial arts. And see, if I wouldn't be talking to Tat, I would have to walk. And instead I had a ride. 
and that's something I was actually explained to fucking craft beer. But instead of understanding my point, and I don't know if he's gonna understand it right now, he took it the wrong way and he made the comment which pissed me off, not because he's a bad guy, but the reason why it pissed me off, because you know, it's kind of fucking sucks when you know, you feel like you both speak English, but really, it feels like you speak different languages. And you know, one of the reasons why I feel like I should go back to Russia eventually, because it sucks to deal with people, like, I feel like, you know, I truly feel like sometimes like people don't understand what the fuck I'm saying. That's why they say that my videos suck. Because they don't really understand me. That's kind of sucks. That I have to like make this fucking extra effort to explain pe to people what I really mean. You know? You know, I feel like we should make a scientific, you know, research, you know, like take people of different ethnicities and let's say all of them speak one language, at least English. And like, the way people, you know, the way people think, like, really explore different mentality within ethnicities and all that shit would be an interesting thing to do, but at the same time, I feel like I should be talking to more like people like me, like go back to St. Petersburg where people will understand me. So that way, you know, I'll have less problems in life. So, but now I'm living in America. We're going to try to do the best out of it. And that's what I'm doing. I'm fucking hanging out with African woman from Sierra Leone and working my ass off. And that's the best I can do. Shit, I'm so happy I'm working at FedEx because I'm thinking like me, getting hired a professional job, dealing with all these people who will ta be taking me the wrong way every day and having difficulties and shit and thinking everybody is fucking stupid and you can't say this, you can't say that, like shit. I'm so happy to, uh, that I do what I do because at least I have some job security and I know that I load, I unload, I wash dishes, whatever the fuck, I always have work, I always have money. In other professional jobs, what if they don't like the way I look at you or say something, whatever the fuck, I may lose a job or whatever. People will be nitpicking, will be fucking with me, I don't need that bullshit in my life. I don't need no fucking bullshit. I don't care if people think I'm an idiot. I don't give a fuck anymore what people think about me because nothing's gonna change. You know, me and my buddy Fabi had this conversation about autism. But anyway, let me make another video about that.